Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Emotions. When was the last time you felt that your emotions were completely out of whack, out of sync, or out of control? Well, for me, that was this morning, and that's been today. That's been my story for the day so far, since uh, I woke up this morning. Uh, very, uh, very seldom do I um, have emotional ups and downs to the point where it's like one polar extreme to the next uh, but today has been one of those days and I was tossing a coin literally whether to share a video on this today or not and I thought I'm going to share it because there's a lot of relevance to what I'm experiencing today with everybody else around me and um, perhaps my understanding of emotions and how we are guided by our emotions might be able to help you and myself for that matter so yeah since i woke up this morning but first before i talk about that put a note down below here what emotions or what highs emotional highs or emo emotional lows can you pinpoint over the last two three days for yourself um, what emotional highs what emotional lows can you pinpoint from the last two to three days or maybe perhaps even for today just a day alone but you know when i woke up this morning um, I have a little mantra that I say in my head as I wake up first thing in the morning. I've conditioned myself to repeat it out in the morning about what my intention is for the day, what I, what I want to gain, for, gain from the day in terms of what, how I can give um, and how I can contribute. And I think this is the thing that, this is the reason why I've been feeling so emotionally low today is because I've had it in my head the whole day that I'm not contributing on a level or a scale that I would like to be contributing. And, you know, whatever the reason may be for that, I'm not entirely sure as to why um, but you know i have i have a vision and a goal for myself and my you know my impact on the world and i just feel that today you know, not just today alone but you know the bigger picture i haven't been contributing on a scale that i would i envisioned envisaged for myself you know I, um, i've always had this ever since i was a kid i've had this feeling this knowing that i'm here for something much bigger than myself and that's been very much a motivational an emotional drive for me most of my life you know um, I've always known that I'm here for big, something bigger, something more grander, something more impactful than what I personally, what I am able to provide on a one, on an individual basis. And we only, we can only give so much individually, right? But if we're working together as a collective, or if we're as part of something bigger, we're able to provide so much more because you know the energy from that can be leveraged. You know what I mean? So this is something that's you know I work, I work pretty much, I work very isolated. I'm, I work very much um, by myself. I have my clients obviously, and I work with people. And and I, like this morning I had a client and I'm, I know I'm impacting that client's life and this afternoon I have two three more clients that I'm going to be working with and I know that I'm impacting their lives as well and every, every time I'm with my clients um, even remotely from with, apart from my clients I know I'm impacting their lives because of the knowledge that I share with them the insights the tools that I, I help share with them that enrich their lives personally and that they can use to make themselves a better version of themselves in whatever work I'm doing with them um, but in saying that you know I do that for myself a lot as well I, I do a lot of personal growth personal development work for myself and i look at myself intrinsically and introspectively um, i do a lot of meditation and i have different tools that i utilize to um to guide me through my day because emotionally speaking we are all volatile you know we we have the tendency to flip quite quickly as human beings and it's it's because of our programming we've been programmed to look at negative things and to highlight negative things in our lives, in all aspects of our life. Everything is negatively um, guided, if you will. You know, how's the health around, across the world? Okay, let's do something about that because it's bad now. How's the pollution across the world? Let's do something about that because it's bad now. How's your gradings in your school exams or your university uh, exams? You know, let's, let's highlight what's, what's bad about that and then work, work on the negatives and, and improve upon the negatives rather than look at where the positives are and all areas of our life we can focus on the positives you know, we don't have to be looking at what is negative and then try to correct it we can focus purely on the positives and be guided by those positive thoughts those positive influences those po positive energies and that will lead us to the next positive thing the next positive thing and the next positive thing and it's never going to be a case where it's completely rosy 24 7 365 days of the year that's never that's never going to be the case we're always going to have stumbling blocks we're always going to 
have challenges. We're always going to be confronted with things that are going to help us to grow and evolve and move and move forward and move upwards. But sometimes we do get pulled down and when there's something that negatively impacts us, it's very easy to hit those lows, those emotional lows. Whereas yeah, this is the dichotomy of life in that we are here to be happy. We, Our purpose for being here, I believe, is for us to be happy and enjoy life and experience life at its fullest and its richest potential. But we have been programmed to look out for the negatives in all aspects of our life. Um, so therefore, it is very difficult for us to recognize something when it's good. You know, and you know, there's there's a there's a saying that if it's too if it if it seems to be too too big too good to be true, then it is too good to be true. But that's more than just critical thinking. That is our suspicious mind. That's our, the suspicious part of us. You know, the the conditioned part of us that's that's, that's being conditioned to look out for whatever faults and negative um, aspects of anything that is pre presented before us. You know, what are those? What what are the potential pitfalls? What are the potential downfalls? You know, um, we don't necessarily look as depth as in depth into what are the positive outcomes. What good can come from whatever it is that we're presented with, uh, whatever that is that is shows itself to us. But the more we focus on the good things in our life, the more we focus on, you know, what is it that um, you can give to yourself or to others or to the world around you, um, nature, for example, the more we focus on these positive aspects, the easier it's going to be for us to identify with them. And I'm sure m many of you listening to this will resonate with that. You know, one thing that that's helped me get out of my my little, um, I don't know, energy slump or emotional slump that I've had, been experiencing today is I have another mantra that I just repeat to myself and I sing it to myself in my head. So like now, especially when I'm walking with a dog, I'm just, I'm singing that in my head, this mantra that helps me to, helps uplift my emotional level, helps uplift my spirits and my energy. And this is what we are essentially at the end of the day. We are just energy. We're vibrational energy beings, energetic beings. And if we're constantly vibrating on a low energy um, spectrum, then we're going to be attracting lower energies to us, darker energies, more critical energies, things that are energy energies or energy aspects that are not necessarily beneficial and helpful to us in any shape, form, or way. Right. So this is the thing. This this is so I have I have this mantra that I repeat to myself, and then I just remind myself what what do I have to be grateful for? And I have a myriad of things that I can be grateful for in any given moment and in, in every day. You know. It, it doesn't matter my predicament. It doesn't matter um, if things are going bad business-wise or if my health is not so not so not as good as I want it to be. But because again, there with health, you know, health there is no bad health. There is only good health. All right, there is no such thing as bad health. But because we focus a lot on negative things, we create negative health for ourselves. We create bad health in our lives okay i'm just looking for the dog now the dogs i've lost the dog <laughs> so you know this is again as another thing we're led to believe that ill health and sickness must be prevalent in society it's there it's it's thrust upon us all the time you know and yet it's not really part of our reality our reality is health is good health our reality should be positive joyful thinking and thoughts you know and experiences every single day that should be our reality but unfortunately we've been conditioned to think otherwise and if we just change our vibrational level our vibrational energy we can change the fortune of our own life and if, if you wake up in the morning like i did today and you're feeling shitty and you're just feeling low and you whatever you whatever your reason may be okay i'm sure it's valid when it happens then if we're just focusing on that that's what we're going to attract more to us you know it's this, it's the old adage of you know you stump your toe on the bed in the morning and what happens thereafter the rest of your day is crappy right the converse can be said for our lives as well if you wake up in the morning and you're thinking good positive happy thoughts you can, that can lead to more good positive happy thoughts thoughts caucus caucus then it's, it, it can lead to better things for us. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, get it! Get it! What's a lot? Vuga, vuga, vuga. Then we can, um, then it's easier to get, get ourselves out of these energy slumps. You know, this, and for me in the past, before I knew these tools, I had these tools in, at, at hand and I had this knowledge about how we are just vibrational beings and we are only energy and that's all it is. 
you know, this physical body that I'm walking around in is just energy. And it's just energy that's vibrating at a certain, certain frequency that allows it to be flesh and allows it to be bones and allows it to be blood. You know, that's, it's just energy vibrating at a certain frequency, which allows it to be what it is. Same as this, this phone that I'm holding in my hand right now. Um, so, and, and the same goes for our, with our emotions. If we learn to control the emotions that we experience, be they good or bad, you know, even if we're having good times and we, and we're experiencing good things, we learn, it's important important that we learn to control those emotions too because you know what can happen from there on is that you're experiencing a good flow of, of energy and emotions of a short burst of time and we wear ourselves out you know we burn out because we're not able to control those emotions so as i said the same can be said for negative and or positive it's about controlling the emotions that we experience or we or we have from the experiences that we have the emotions that come from the experiences we have it's about being able to control those and then once we are able to learn how to control the emotions we can tweak the energy that's in our body and keep keep that vibration at a, at, a, at a level which is conducive to our own health, our own well-being, and our own abundance. And the more, the higher the frequency is that we, that we resonate, okay, and we give out, the more abundance we will attract into our lives, the more health we will attract into our lives, and the more opportunities we will attract into our lives to experience something like this. Nature, you know? goodness, enrichment, enriching experiences, things that give life. And the more we can be around that, the better for us in the long run. Okay, so if you wanna have some insight into what these tools are that I'm talking about, that I use whenever I need to, and some of the tools I use every day, um, then just message me down, down below here or privately message me, and I'll be happy to have a chat with you and share those insights with you and uh, see if it can help you to create a sustainable energy platform that you can, where you can be vibrating at a much higher frequency than perhaps you are typically today now or at any given day of your life because it's better to do start implementing these tools and these practices today than wait until one day you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you you have this or that and now you need to really start to pay attention to your own vibration and your own energy levels and your own emotions because the emotions can kill you the emotions can make you sick emotions can make you happy and emotions can attract abundance into your life trust that helped you have a beautiful day and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.